Well, good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, y'all. If y'all woke up with me this morning, and if you're watching this video, God has blessed you with another day. Okay, like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button. It don't cost nothing, y'all. Help your girl out. Like, share, comment, and watch the video on the ads till the end. Thank you. Oh, you guys. So, good morning. And today, um, I just want to say, I had a rough night last night, y'all. So, um, like I said, we got to take it day by day. Day by day. And it was only rough because um, I'm in so much pain. My body aches. And I don't know if it's because I'm stressing. Well, I do have issues. But stressing and worrying, it just does so much to your body. It just makes you can't sleep. You, you don't have a sound sleep. A restful, peaceful sleep. And um, it, was, it was rough for me. Um, but I'm here. I'm here doing another video. I told you I was going to try. Every day I'm going to take it day by day. As I want you guys to do too. But I'm thankful. Today I'm going to talk about what I'm thankful for. And I'm thankful for no robbers broke into my home. No fires broke out. I woke up in my sound mind, even though I'm tired. Okay, I sound like uh, somebody, Freddie Jackson, somebody in the voice, Luther Vandross, I don't know. But these cigarettes, I got to stop smoking because my voice is so raspy. But um, <laughs> I'm here. We're here. God gave us another day to do something different, to learn new things, to forgive, to let go, to learn. And I just wanted just to come today, this morning, just to say hi and let you know that I am still here. We're still here. It's not easy. It's not easy, you guys. It's not easy. And I be, I'm fighting um, thoughts. I'm fighting um, feelings. I'm really struggling and I'm fighting and I have to fight. And when I, when I think about my mother, she was a fighter. She has fought for many years having lupus and, and the lupus attacked her kidneys. And then she got a transplant. She had the transplant, the new kidney for over 20 years. And she fought through a lot. She, she, she fought. She wasn't a person that gave up. She fought. And she took care of herself the best way she could, as far as health-wise. She did what she was supposed to do. She did what the doctor said. And so I'm thinking about that. You know, I can fight too. And we all can fight. Don't just lay down and just give up. We can't just throw in the towel, okay? And we can't just dwell on stuff all the time. We can't stay in that same spot. We have to move on. Because at the end of the day, ain't nobody going down that ground with you. You're going alone. You're going alone. You're going alone. 
So we can't put too much energy in people. We can't let people ruin our day. We can't let people bring us down. We can't dwell on the hurt that people bestowed upon us. Because people are cruel. People can be very cruel and insensitive. And people gossip. I mean, everybody gossip. But when you gossip about something that is just so... I don't know. Anyway, we can't dwell on it. And I'm saying that to myself at this point. I'm telling myself, Tracy, stop dwelling on it. Stop thinking about it. Stop letting it consume you. Stop giving these people or your situation power over you. When we dwell on things and we and we hold on to the hurt and pain, we're giving it power over us. We're letting it consume us. And I'm telling that to myself right now. I can't give any more energy and power over any more situations. I don't know when my time is coming. You don't know when yours is. We have to live each day as joyful and, and peaceful and fulfilling as we can. Because we don't know what's going to happen, moment for moment. There was a huge car accident by, right by my job. Uh, two people were leaving work. They got off work. One person is in the hospital now from the accident. So you don't know what's going to happen when you get in your car and go to your destination. We got to pray that we make it to our destination. We got to thank God each day that we make it through the day. And we can't give these situations power over us. We have to figure out a way to live with that pain. Because sometimes the pain just, certain, certain pains don't go away. Certain pains don't go away. So we have to figure out a way to cope. We have to find new coping skills. Because the other coping skills that we were using, it ain't it. It ain't working. If you keep, oh, my mother would always say this. If you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same results. That's insanity. We have to find new coping skills. And we can't give people power over us. We can't give the situations power over us. And we have to learn new coping skills. Learn how to cope with things. And I guess this video is for anybody out there that is struggling. That is going through something. That is depressed. That's sad. That's lonely that has been hurt and they just can't get past the hurt. They can't wake up, get up in the morning and just take a bath, brush your teeth, wash your face, put your clothes on. You just don't have the energy. You don't wanna go outside. You don't wanna talk to anybody. You don't wanna see anybody. You're just isolating yourself. Please try to come out of it. See a counselor. Go to some support groups. Pray. Read your Bible. Read a book. Do something. Do something for yourself to make yourself feel better. Even if it's just for that day. And then worry about the next day when the next day comes if you're blessed to see the next day. I have so much pain in my heart. 
I have so much pain in my heart on for so many different things. And I'm feeling overwhelmed with this pain. And I'm trying to keep this pain at a minimum. I don't want it to turn into anger. Because when you get angry, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. So pray for me, you guys. Throw some good vibes out there for me as I'm throwing some out there for you. Okay, let's try to do this one day at a time, y'all. I just want to encourage anybody out there who's listening, who is going through something that you feel that is so overwhelming and you can't handle it and you're about to just break down. Don't break down. Think about some good things. Think about some good things that you have and hold on to the hope. Hold on. So my video today is going to be titled, Hold On. Hold on. Don't let go. As long as you're breathing and God woke you up this morning, each morning, that's a whole nother day to fight. And sometimes it's painful to have to disassociate yourself from people. But we have to do what's best for us. Our well-being, our mental health. So, I just want to say good morning. Hang in there. Don't throw in the towel. Don't throw in the towel. There's hope for you and me. That's all I want to say. I love you guys. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I have to get ready to go inside now. But I love you guys. And I'm throwing good vibes out there for all you guys. As I want you to throw some out there for me. Because your girl is in a lot of pain. Physically, emotionally, mentally, look, financially, look. Look, I'm in, I'm in pain, seriously. I'm in a lot of emotional pain emotional pain like I want to break down and cry right now but I've already did that this morning on my way to work so now I gotta put this fake smile on I gotta be an actress today and put my feelings to the side my pain and my suffering to the side so I can get through my day and I want you guys to do the same don't throw in the towel. Don't let nobody steal your joy. We work, I know for me, it's a struggle to get it. I have a little bit today. I. It's a struggle. Don't just give it away. Don't give people power over you. Keep your head up. Keep your chest out. Don't be walking around with your face all frowned up and or sad or don't bring nobody else down just because you're feeling down. Okay? It's not their fault. You're feeling the way you're feeling. Okay? And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.